Diamond. And I am Miss Matinga. And you are watching Homework, where we aim to school the kids. In olden days, a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking, but now God knows she's an old hoe. Are Bert and Ernie gay? What about Batman and Rossine Murphy? <laughs> I believe that says Batman and Robin. Oh, and... <laughs> uh, so are Bert and Ernie gay? I say yes, and that Ernie's the top. It's those pointy-headed bitches are always the bottom. Well, I don't know, because you've seen Anal Birth of Bert, right? I have, but let's not give it to the kids that quick. <laughs> well, uh, well, all right, I, as long as you brought it up. What is the anal birth of Bert? Let's just the, get it out of the way. The anal birth of Bert is a classic cult porn film in which, uh, from the 70s, that's really, really hard to find, by the way. But we found it. But we found it, of course, where uh, a gay man uh, in a operating room setting. No, no. Yeah. No. It's yeah. A, no, mama. Yeah. It's a bunch of bikers. Fist fucking this queen in a sling no, in yes. a bar. Yes, it's a bunch of bikers fist fucking this queen in a bar, and then the, then they set it up again, and it's like a guy like wearing like the little mask, right. and they're doing like a medical scene, and this guy gives birth to a doll, uh, a baby doll of the Bert character. But it's like the Christ child. Yes. But the thing is, but and the he, thing like, is, but though, the thing is though, and then he actually holds it like a baby. But they had previously stuffed the doll inside of him while you he was in the sling. No, you never see them yes, stuff you the doll do. in. Mama, no, not only no, did you, you see it, they're like twisting it. No, I don't remember if I saw that part. Honey, that episode was sponsored by the letter F. Trust. Mama, for fist yes. Buck. I did not see that I part, don't know girl. I we saw the same production. Yeah, or maybe I saw a shorter clip. Because I, well, I only saw the part where he comes out. Honey, I saw the part where he went in. And then he cradles it like it's a real baby. Can you tell me how to get... How to get to Sesame Street. How to get to Sesame Street. So do we think that yes. Bert and Ernie are gay? I think just like uh, Batman and Robin, um, the subtext is that, that it's there's a possibility that they're gay. They had those separate beds, but you know that one of them was climbing up on top of the other climbing. one. Climbing. Was climbing on top of the other. You know that Bert would stick his like pointy head Oof. like in. And By that the way, anal birth of Bert turned me on. It did. It did turn me on. So, but now, tangy 1970s queens. We're going to have to rewatch that because I think we saw different segments of it. I clearly remember a guy in a sling in a dark biker bar. And I remember more of a medical setup. Either way, it's a winning combination. It's definitely. Yeah. Like, the, seek it out, all you kids above the age of 18. And I want to say, as far as Burton Early, people are like, oh. Burton Early. Burton Early. <laughs> You know Miss Burton Early, honey, Early. the old soul singer. Yes. <laughs> you know, as far as like people being offended that they might be gay and that's not appropriate for kids in the Muppet universe, bullshit. Because Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy are clearly a couple. Why is that okay? And that's interspecies. Interspecies. Right, right, right. A frog and a pig. Exactly, exactly. What's green and smells like bacon? Kermit the Frog's fingers. <laughs> so Batman and Robin. Batman would be the top well, i i would hope so but you know if it was a real life situation robin would be the top well now wh which batman movie had chris o'donnell as robin a couple of them batman and robin and batman forever a motherfucker was fine and b he could be a top if he won't to chris o'donnell yeah yeah but have you seen him lately no he morphed into Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, it's, it, it's gone south. It's gone south. Never knew. In the Batman and Robin thing, there's the whole daddy boy thing going on. And Robin, his alter ego is the white winged dove. Isn't that another comic book with Robin as the white winged dove? As the white winged dove? No, Miss Honey, you're watching too much American Horror Story. Miss you're listening to too much Stevie Nicks, the Wait white winged dove. Robin has another comic His name is Nightwing, not Nightwing. White Wing. You're getting confused, girl. Okay, so... Well, so uh, no, Robin is not the white-winged dove. Robin is Nightwing. He, but that's after Robin think, grows up. I think the white-winged dove is better. You're like a white-winged dove. Kablam! As our resident comic book expert, Batman and Robin? Not gay. Not gay. Not gay, unfortunately, no. No. There are gay comic book characters that are flat out gay. North Star, uh, who, uh, of Alpha Flight uh, and, and the X-Men. Uh, there is, uh, um, there is, who else is gay? Who um, cares? <laughs> so listen, but to, to answer that question, Batman and Robin, not gay 
per se. Just like deep into the leather and rubber scene. Exactly, exactly. But uh, but that's always been the implication. And Bert and Ernie, they gay. 